Hello everyone, welcome to the Barajas Barnyard. I wanted to make a quick video while it was in the front of my mind, which is that when you have chickens, as you can see here, they are very curious, they're very good scavengers and foragers, and all of our chickens free range all over our Five Acre Ranch. I mean, they can go all the way up to our front doors if they want. So they're not kept out of anywhere, including here on our patio in front of our house where we have our tomato plants. And you can see that some of our tomatoes are beginning to color like that one. And what we didn't know before getting chickens is that with chickens come rodents. And probably within the past two months rodents discovered that we have not only chickens but tomatoes uh, here we have beefsteak tomatoes this plant right here coming out of this pot next to it out of this smaller pot we have Roma tomatoes you can see a, a bunch hanging right there you can see that one is beginning to color you I don't think you can see it but it's beginning to turn orangish and then here we have tomatillos which have that plant has actually yielded a lot of tomatillos it's yielded more tomatillos than the tomatillos that we consume so we have an excess of tomatillos and this is just a cherry tomato bush there's a bunch of green cherry tomatoes on it still we're officially in fall it, today is September, I think it's September 7th, maybe. Honestly, since I had a baby and became a stay-at-home mother, I never know what day it is. I don't even know what time it is. I thought it was around 11 a.m. It's almost 2 o'clock. So there you go. And then we have another tomato plant, which a family member gave to us. Another one here. And as you can see here, we have a box of rat poison, which the rats discovered as well they started chewing on that but like I was saying for those of you who don't know with poultry come rodents and some of you hopefully you find that out before you get chickens um, because it can be a very rude awakening especially when the rodents discover that they like the filling that is inside of your patio furniture. Uh, they like your fruits and vegetables in your gardens. And so the reason I wanted to make this video is because I saw this Roma tomato there which is turning orange. It's not very big but it's already beginning to color and what I'll probably do is pick it even though it's not ripe. It's not quite ready. The reason for that is since the rodents have discovered our tomatoes. They will eat the tomatoes whether they are ripe or as green as could be. So after I saw that ripening Roma, I saw, let me try to show you, that beefsteak, which you can obviously see, wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Um, I don't really want to touch it because I know what has eaten half of it. And it's a juvenile rodent, which I see quite often. We haven't been able to catch him. We haven't been able to kill him. So I know he has done that. And that is a con of having poultry. You will attract rodents because the rodents are attracted to the chicken food. Chickens are very messy eaters. Uh, their food is thrown and kicked all over the place when they eat so rodents like to come and clean up after the chicken the bad thing with rodents is not only do they like to eat the chicken food but they also uh, like to eat other not eat but they like to collect other materials that they use for their bedding in their nests and for example so once we discovered that rodents were coming and eating our tomato plants, we noticed, let me see if I can find it. 
we noticed that they were also chewing, maybe it's on this side, they were chewing our couch cushions. You see there's a rodent dropping right there, thank you. And, oh, see, there's a little hole in the couch cushion. They like the stuffing. So they ate a little hole and they go in and they steal stuffing and any kind of material and they take it back to their nest because we have found many rodent nests all over the property in our barns, up in the roofs of the other buildings. And that's what they do. They take materials that they like and they stuff their nests with them to make them comfy and cozy, especially now that we are in fall and the weather is changing, it's getting colder. So we noticed that. And there are, there are other areas that I've noticed that have been eaten by, they've been not on by rodents, but I think they're on the other cushions. So just know that rodents will go after your edible fruits and vegetables. They will go after your chicken feed. And they will also go after your non-edible items. So that's it folks. Unfortunately from all these tomato plants, you can see they're starting to brown now because the weather's changing, but they've gotten pretty high. They've done very well. Oh, Joaquin. But we have not been able to get very many tomatoes. I think from all these plants up to this point, we've only gotten a handful of tomatoes, believe it or not. And that's because the rodents typically get to them before we do. There's another one. That one is almost gone, and the list goes on. So next year, I don't quite know what we're going to do. You can keep the chickens out. It's actually very simple. We just haven't done it. Uh, you put, you know, chicken, you enclose your garden with either uh, chicken netting, chicken wire. You just create an enclosed garden that keeps your chickens out. So that can be um, that can be mended next year when we do our garden again. We've learned a lot this time around so at the very least this is a great learning lesson even though it wasn't great for the fruit. But as far as the rodents I don't know what we're gonna do um, because rodents are just incredibly resourceful they fit into extremely small spaces through teeny tiny holes. They eat through plastic. They eat through anything. So it's very hard to keep the rodents out. So we'll see. All right, I got to cut my video right now because hello, little Joaquin is getting grumpy. So we will say adios for now and until next time. Bye.